if we know the selling price and we know the number of units sold and we also have a target margin before any price change how do we calculate at each drop of price what is the number of units to be sold and also what is the percentage change in units sold at each price drop there is something interesting we'll look at in the end so first off let's calculate the total profit from this scenario so we know that the selling price is $1089 we sell 74 units times the margin will give us the total existing profit the current profit which is 24,000 how do we calculate the impact of price change so first of all let's see what will be the new selling prices for each drop so if we drop the selling price by 5% what will be the new selling price so the way to calculate is you multiply the original selling price so I press F4 and I freeze the cell reference so that it doesn't move as I move the formula times 1 plus whatever your price change is okay so in this case it's negative 5% I'm linking so that the model works even if we change the inputs okay so I press enter and you see that the new price is 1034 drag it all the way to the end and you have prices for each change in percentage okay now that we have the selling prices we can also calculate the change in price and the profit per unit right so let's start with the change in price so this will just be a difference of our new price and our original price and again i will freeze the cell reference for the original price so that we can carry this over to the other columns originally without any change our profit per unit is calculated as selling price times margin percentage this is the profit per unit in a way you can also indirectly calculate the cost so really if you wanted to calculate the cost that would be the difference of your selling price and your profit per unit and this is really your cost now for the profit per unit for the revised prices that will be the difference in price so your original profit per unit plus the change in price will give you the profit per unit for each of these different price levels and this is because we are not changing the cost the only thing that is changing is the selling price and this will have a direct impact on our profit this will be a direct reduction of our profit at each price change level now we will calculate the quantity of units sold on revised prices so this will be our total profit the original total profit because remember we do not want our total profit to change at these price levels that's why the units will change when we reduce the price the number of units to be sold needs to increase so that we can still achieve this profit despite the drop in profit per unit so original total profit divided by the new profit per unit this is important this will calculate the number of units required to be sold at each price level so these are the units you need to sell but our original task was to get to the percentages what is going to be the percentage increase in units sold at these price levels so how you calculate percentage you take the new quantity divided by the original quantity which is 74 free cell reference and subtract one from it that's one way there's another way of doing that but that's one way so for a five percent drop in price you need to increase the units sold by 20 percent okay and this is at a profit margin of 30 percent you can basically change any numbers in the calculation and this will still calculate the percentage change or increase in units sold required this should also work for a decrease so if you increase the price and you expect a drop in sales you but you still want to keep the same total profit level you can check even that so for example instead of a drop in price of five percent if i say there is an increase in price of ten percent so it's plus ten you see that the number of units required now is only 55.5 which is a drop from current unit levels of 74 by of 25 percent okay now something very interesting is that the original selling price and the number of units sold do not impact these percentages the only thing that impacts this percentage is your profit margin your original profit margin okay so let's say i change this 1089 to 2000 you will see all the numbers change in the model but your percentage of unit change still remains the same similarly if i change the quantity from 74 to 100 there is no impact however as soon as i change the profit margin you see now you see an impact on the number of units required to be 
sold hope this helps let me know click like if you have any questions leave them in the comment and make sure you subscribe